Today, we are going to talk about the reliability, validity, and accuracy of first-hand data in science. So, what does that mean? Well, basically we're going to be talking about data we collect in first-hand investigations and a little bit in second-hand investigations. Okay, so, validity. What is validity? It's validity is the extent that the data collected, so the processes and the, the resultant data, measure what was intended. So, what this means is, if here we have our, our target, and we're having an archery competition. Now, I come in, and I'm not a bad shot with a bow and arrow, but instead, I'm going to throw an axe at an archery competition. My first one lands there, my second one lands there, third one lands there, fourth one lands there, this one lands there. That's how good I am with that. Now, they group nice and tight. It means they're reliable. We'll come back to that. They're very close to where we wanted them to be. It means they're accurate. We'll come back to that. But our results are completely and utterly in battle because they're not measuring what we were intending. We're intending to measure the accuracy of archery. So these results. They might be accurate, they might be reliable, but they are not valid. They're not testing what we wanted to test at all. Reliability. Okay. So reliability of first-hand data is the degree which repeated observations and or measurements taken under the exact same, so identical circumstances, will, will yield the same results. So, how similar the results are every single time using the exact same method. Now, I've put away my axe, my axes, my throwing axes, I've come back and I've brought my I've brought my bow, my arrows, and I'm gonna have some shots. So hmm, that's not as great. Now along comes the next competitor and they will have their shots. Now, one of my shots was much more accurate than my competitors. However, however, they are much more reliable. Okay, so we're but we're valid now. We're, we're measuring our archery skills, but the my competitor they are much more reliable now. This one time I was more accurate, but I wasn't here I wasn't. So where that comes into it, if we know the reliability and our accuracy is off, we can adjust our method 
in a way that we can increase the accuracy. But we need to be reliable. We need to get repeatable results. Okay? So, my competitor, super reliable, not very accurate. Both are valid. Accuracy. Now, accuracy is about precision. So, it is the exactness or precision of measurement. Now, with this, we can we can increase the accuracy of our of our measurements by using finer, more sensitive gear. Uh, often, it's limited by the equipment we've, we're using. For example, we might get reliable results, we might get valid results using a beaker, but we won't get accurate results. So, what we're showing here is if I turn in, brought my I've got my bow, my arrows, I've practiced a little bit, and I'm now hitting around about the bullseye every single time. Those are accurate results. Those are also reliable results, and they are valid results. Okay? So, that is accuracy, reliability, and validity. We are aiming to meet all of these requirements when we set up an experiment. Now, first, we need to know if our experiments are reliable or if they're valid. So, What questions should we ask? Well, a good question to ask when it comes to reliability is have I tested with repetition? Now, important repetition does not equal reliability. You cannot increase reliability with repetition. It's just a way of assessing. So if you repeat your experiments and you get the same set of results every time, your experiment is reliable. Okay? Now, in second hand, that's, that's first hand, with a second hand investigation, so that's data from other sources, so that's a research test. Um, is it in line with other reputable sources? Okay, does it agree with other reputable people? Now, validity. So, is it testing the hypothesis? is that it's valid. Okay? As long as you've controlled all of the control variables.
Now, when it comes to accuracy, there's one more thing I would like to focus on. Okay? All of experiments, all experiments you'll do have a degree of accuracy, okay? a degree of error built into the equipment. So, for example, if you're using a measuring cylinder that, uh, you're using a measuring cylinder and it has on it uh, its, you know, its, its error bars, so it'll say 50 mils plus minus 0.25. This means all results are accurate to 0.25 mils. Thus, if you measure 48 mils, the way you should write it to say, to give your accuracy is 48 mils plus minus 0.25. This, this means that it is a range between 447.75 and 48.25. No. That's our that's our reliability, validity, and accuracy.